When was the last time you paid attention to your sternum? Our sternum is our breastbone, this bone here that our ribs come out front to attach to, right? We all know, or commonly we understand, that what's referred to as an ideal posture is, uh, is an aspect of it, is when our ears are over our shoulders. And so a lot of times we try to force our shoulders into position by putting them back. Well, actually, that creates more tension. And it can put a strain on the low back if our knees are also hyperextended. So if instead we just imagine there's an imagi a string here, right? Imagine an imaginary string. <laughs> imagine there's a string on your sternum and that it's just pulling straight up, then that'll put your ears where you want them to be, right over your shoulders. So if you look from the side, uh, just imagining that there's this string and just lift straight up and it puts our ears again in the line where we want them to be. If we, when we support that with a, a good strong base where our feet are about shoulder width apart and our knees are a little bent and then we pull up from our sternum, then we have this really great posture. And we do want our pelvic girdle and our sh shoulder girdle to be in a line, um, but really just thinking about this upward motion and just the sternum moving will let you know how tight your intercostals or uh, the muscles between your ribs are. Um, it'll let you know how much space your diaphragm has. It'll let you know how strong everything is. And it'll give you a good idea of your balance. It's just a, another great thing to practice and it can go a long way towards el eliminating some of the strain on the neck and shoulders. I love you. I love me. I love us. Have a blessed day.